Hello everyone and welcome to this introduction to geologic mapping using ArcGIS Pro SP Mountain tutorial. In this video, I hope to accomplish two things. One, I will introduce you to the basic work environment in ArcGIS Pro. And two, we will learn how to make a folder connection so that we can import our digital elevation model that was provided to you in the SP tutorial folder. If you haven't already downloaded the SP tutorial folder, check the description for the link below. Let's begin. Data and file organization is crucial when starting any new project in Arc Pro. Step one is to place your downloaded SP tutorial folder somewhere where you can easily locate it. I have my folder currently located on the desktop. Within the SP tutorial folder, you will see two subfolders labeled DEM and FGDC underscore style X. DEMs are typically produced from airborne LIDAR missions, which is when a laser scanner attached to an aircraft creates a 3D point cloud model of the landscape. Another method of obtaining DEMs is through photogrammetry and structure from motion which is the process of estimating the 3D structure of a landscape from a set of 2D images. These images can be acquired by satellite, aircraft, or small unmanned aircraft systems, such as drones. The file format for DEMs is GeoTIFF, essentially a TIFF raster image that includes embedded geospatial data so that the image can be georeferenced in a defined coordinate system. I will explain more about the FGDC style X subfolder in a later video. Essentially, it contains the Federal Geographic Data Committee's standardized geologic mapping symbols that we will later import into our project. But before we start mapping, we must get familiar with ArcGIS Pro's work environment. Now that we have our SP tutorial folder placed in a convenient spot, let's open up ArcGIS Pro and begin a new project. In the top left, let's click on map and name our new project SP underscore tutorial. Welcome to the Arc Pro workspace. On the left, you have the contents pane. This is where you can add, toggle, and delete different dataset layers. Notice the default world topographic map and world hillshade that appear as base map layers within the contents pane. And note how each is currently being displayed in the map view. At the top, you have a ribbon or toolbar with varying tabs that house different GIS functions. This ribbon user interface is somewhat reminiscent to that of Microsoft Word or Excel, which gives Arc Pro an intuitive, familiar, and user-friendly feel. Throughout these videos, we will visit each of these tabs and icons in more detail. For now, let's navigate to the View tab and click on the Catalog Pane icon. This will bring up a pane on the right-hand side of the screen, which can be pinned by clicking on the Pin icon in the top right. The Catalog Pane and the Contents Pane can be resized as needed by dragging. Having this flexible work environment and freedom to change your display efficiently is a great asset of Arc Pro. The catalog pane will act as our central command center when structuring our project. It is here that we can control what goes in and out of our project. Our first task is to make a folder connection with the SP tutorial folder that you downloaded so we can import our DEM. To do this, right click folders in the catalog pane and click add folder connection. Here, it will bring up a file directory from which you must locate the SP tutorial folder. I had placed mine on the desktop, but yours may be in the download folder if you haven't moved it. Now we should see the SP tutorial folder in our catalog pane. 
To import our DEM to our contents pane and map view, we must open up the DEM subfolder and find the output USGS 10 meter geo tiff. Then we right click the DEM and click add to current map. If we zoom out, we indeed see that our DEM GeoTIFF is located accurately in Arizona. A useful tip for navigating quickly back to your data is to right-click the DEM in the contents pane and click Zoom to Layer. Congratulations on getting started with the SP Mountain mapping tutorial and importing the digital elevation model. In the next video, we will discuss geographic coordinate systems, how to project our data into a projected coordinate system, and how to safely store our DEM into our Project Geo database.